The check engine light come on. Libby Denault in a category shared by hundreds of other New Yorkers. A victim of rats living under the hood of her car and gnawing on wires. As we were interviewing her, a complete stranger stopped to share his rat story. They nursed off the bill over my engine. Oh man, and then they ate the, the battery to my wire. Then pay three dollars for that. Denault didn't know what the problem was with her Toyota Prius until she took it in to her mechanic in Bed-Stuy. I said it was a sensor wire that had been chewed through by a rat. They saw a whole little nest of droppings and different kind of bedding. I didn't realize that there was rats in my car, so that was surprising and a little gross. This cell phone video taken on East 95th Street in Yorkville shows rats in the tire and on top of it. And yes, it's daylight. In fact, that's where I parked overnight a few months ago when the wires in my 2022 Jeep Wrangler were ripped apart. David Goldsmith, who runs Urban Classics, says his mechanics see all kinds of evidence of rats. We'll see chicken bones. We'll see, you know, McDonald's wrappers, you know, a half-eaten hamburger. And while the issue of rats in cars first grabbed headlines during the pandemic, Goldsmith says it's still happening, even in vehicles moved every day. The wires are coated now with a soy-based insulation. So uh, that also kind of rats, they're looking for things to gnaw on. They, they go for the wires. So what can you do if you're a street parker? Mechanics say you can try putting mothballs under your hood or using peppermint sprays. You can buy them online and you're supposed to spray it about once a week. But Matt Diodato, an exterminator for nearly four decades, warns mothballs are not a guarantee. And I've seen rats pick up the mothball and move it because it was an irritant. Diodato says you should inspect your surroundings before leaving your car in any spot. First thing to do is come out of your car and look for a burrow. If you, there's burrows around the tree, don't leave your car there. Second thing is garbage. This is what a rat burrow looks like in a tree bed, about a fist size. Diodato says also never park directly over a sewer grate. And they usually pop up out of there too. If your car's right above it and they feel the warmth, they'll go right into the block. And Goldsmith says check under your hood often. If you see feces or food, get it cleaned immediately because he says it will attract more rodents. And they go, huh, it looks like home for somebody. So they go up in there. As for Libby, unfortunately, it looks like the rats are back already. I think it's frustrating. I think New York is one of the greatest cities in the world and the fact that we can't manage uh, the way that we treat garbage on the streets.